Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll talk about Armstrong number or not in QBasic. I will show you the dry run. I will show you practical demonstration with code so you can understand it very easily. If you are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share with your friends. Let's go to the computer screen and let's see how it works. demonstration if you don't know how while loop work you can watch the previous video that is video for reverse of given number palindrome or not and how while loop work okay let's start what is Armstrong number Armstrong number is the sum of cube of each digits is equals to the number itself for example 153 is Armstrong number because 153 sum of cube of each digit first number cube plus second digit cube plus third digit cube equals to 153 that's why it is armstrong number we have three digits so cube if we have four digits then we have to power keep here power four so for three digits cube only okay so what is the requirement for the program is one number so we have written here CLS to clear the data of the output screen and input to take input any number. Input any number, then user will enter any number. So I will keep here 153 for now. Original equals to n. Original is another variable which will store the value of n. That is entered by the user. A equals to 0. We have kept here A equals to 0. And then while loop start. While n not equals to 0. N value is 153. 153 not equals to 0 condition is true when condition is true it will execute this while loop so first is r equals to n mod 10 if we do any number mod 10 then it will give the last digit of that number that is we have n values 153 so last digit of this number is 3 so in r we will store 3 a equals to a plus r cube a value is 0 0 plus r cube means r value is 3 3 cube means 27 so we'll store 27 in this a variable now n equals to n integer division 10 when we do any number integer division 10 it will remove the last digit of the given number that is n value is 153 if we remove last digit then it will be 15 so it will be stored in n wend means while loop end before it end it will go here and check the condition again n value is 15 not equals to 0 condition is true then it will go here again r equals to n mod 10 we have here 1 5 so if we mod if we do any number mod 10 then it will give last digit of that number that is 5 so we'll store that in r which is here 5 so a equals to a plus r cube a value is already 27 27 plus 5 q means 125 so 125 plus this 27 is 152 so we we'll store that in a variable 152 next n equals to n integer division 10 it will remove the last digit of number that is we have 15 so last digit remove one left here wnd while loop end before it end it will go here and check the condition while n not equals to 0 1 not equals to 0 condition true then it will go here r equals to n mod 10 n value is 1 mod 10 means it will give the last digit of the number that is only 1 here so r equals to 1 again a equals to a plus r cube a value is 152 already plus r cube means 1 cube 1 cube is 1 so 153 152 plus 1 is 153 next a equals to okay n equals to n integer division 10 n value is already 1 if we do integer division it will remove the last digit so if i remove this then it will be 0 wnd means it will check the loop again now n value is 0 0 not equals to 0 condition false because 0 is equals to 0 when this condition is false it will go directly to the next line just after this wind 
so after this when is if a equals to original let's say a is 153 and original is also 153 that means both value are same then this condition is true and it will print number is Armstrong and it will go to end if and end up the program this is how it work now your work is keep the value of this n as 173 and check that whether that is Armstrong or not using the same process you will get output as number is not Armstrong now we are here in QBase screen let's run this program and check whether it is working or not by entering the different number okay this is output screen let me type here 153 number is Armstrong it is giving correct output okay let's run again and enter the value 173 number is not Armstrong let's enter another number which is Armstrong number that is I think 371 yeah number is Armstrong so you can check by entering the different number it will give the correct output and your work is to try this dry run with 173 and you can dry run with any different number and check that whether it is working or not that is the only way to understand this QBasic program have a good day and see you in the next video mm -hmm.